Hello everybody, welcome here to Vlogmas Day 4. It is well into the evening actually and we had some dinner and I made some yummy, um, they're like little scotcheroos, so good. Um, made those and then we've just been watching Survivor. <laughs> so we first finished up, I think it was like season 28 because it was like one of the two seasons on Netflix. So we finished up that one um, yesterday and then I loved all your guys' comments about like how you love Survivor, which is really cool because we've been loving it. So then we found all of the seasons on Hulu, which I cannot even believe there's been that many seasons, like 30 something. Um, so <laughs> we wanted to watch another one. Um, so then we looked on some blogs and stuff and people gave us some good suggestions. And a lot of people said to start at season one, which we were kind of hesitant about because we knew it would be like older and obviously like things ch like change throughout the season. They like get better and things get whatever, I don't know. And so far, it's not my favorite, but that's okay. <laughs> I feel like I kind of knew it and I don't, I'm interested to see why people said it was the best or like one of a good, like one of the good ones to watch. Um, so we'll see, but so far, it's not my favorite. <laughs> um, but then I decided to come up, um, do a little pamper night with you guys. Since I didn't vlog um, anything during the day, I thought that we could do a little nighttime vlog and I will take you through my skincare, um, kind of like my bath routine. I don't know, just kind of have a good like chilled pamper Friday night, which I'm so looking forward to. I think this week, well, I know this week was like <laughs> just, not a normal week. We didn't work as much as we normally do. We didn't work out. We haven't been feeling good. So it's just kind of one of those weeks where I'm like, I'm so thankful it's the weekend so we can just kind of like continue to rest up and then hopefully get back into gear on Monday. Um, but I will say for today being Friday, I did get a lot of my stuff done, which I feel good about. As you guys know, a couple weeks ago, if you've been watching my vlogs, I had like this insane breakout along my chin area and it's getting better, thankfully. Um, so that's nice. I'm kind of just like recovering from that. And then I was trying out this toner that my sister actually recommended to me. And every time she recommends something, it's always really good. But this one for me has not been good. And I kind of broke out on like a little, it's not like acne, like active spots, but they're like those little bumps on your skin. So I had to stop using it, but it's the Formula 1006 So Totally Clean. This little toner, which I'm so bummed. I thought I was gonna love it because she loves it and swears by it. Um, it didn't work for me. But anyway, I'm going to grab my things and then we'll chat. So I always use a couple of different cleansers when I'm taking off my makeup. I always do a double cleanse just to like get all my makeup off and like really broken up. Um, so the one that I've been using for a while, it's actually lasted me way longer than the balm is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. So I went for the oil because I do like the balm, um, but I don't like how I have to like scrape it out. It just like bothers me. So I went for the balm, like, or I went for the oil, like I said, and it has lasted me a really long time. So I love taking my makeup off with this. And then I got this cleanser probably a few months back. It's the Laneige Cream Silk Milk Oil Cleanser. And Susan Yara, what's her name? <laughs> Suzanne um, and Suzanne Yara. She is it Susan? Suzanne? Why am I saying this so weird? Anyway, she recommended this, and honestly, I didn't love it. I don't think it's like a good enough like cleanse. Like it doesn't. I don't like a ton of lather because I don't want it to dry out my skin. But I need like something, and this is like just completely like milky liquid. So I don't feel like it's good to take off your makeup with, and I don't think it's good as like a second cleanse. So what I've been using it as, cause it is extremely gentle. It is like so, so gentle. So I use this in the mornings sometimes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that cause I think the last time I talked about this was in like a skincare video and I didn't love it then. Um, and I, yeah, so I just am using it up cause it really is nice. Um, and it's super gentle, like I said, but 
I don't know, so on the days where I feel like my skin needs a little bit of like some wakening up in the morning, I like using this. Um, but to take off my makeup as my second cleanse, I have been using the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser and I vlogged on the day I picked this up at Ulta and I love it. It's really, really nice and I feel like it's been helping my skin out a ton. Um, it has niacinamide, which I've heard amazing things and I've just wanted to incorporate that into my skincare. So love this. I'll have everything linked down below if I can. Um, but I'm first going to use my little oil and take off all my makeup. Most of my makeup feels like it's already off because I've been sitting on the couch <laughs> and on my face in a pillow, but like I said, it's the evening time and it's just nice to get my makeup off. I'm gonna run a bath, so I especially want it to be off. All of my makeup is pretty like broken up and my mascara I'm going to quickly rinse and then we'll go in with our double cleanse. Okay, while my skin is wet, I'm gonna do like a pump and a half of this and it doesn't get like super foamy um but i feel like it's just more heavy duty than the laneige one and that's why i really really love it and there is nothing worse than washing your face with <laughs> a sweatshirt on i'm like cringing all of this water going down but i am gonna get in the bath so that's what's saving me but i usually do this in the shower so <laughs> That's why it's a little hard today. I watched a YouTube, I can't remember what her name is. Now I'm, I'm blanking on it, but I watched a YouTube video where this girl was showing like her skincare routine and she said something that like really, I don't know, kind of like resonated with me, I guess, or like stuck to me. Um, and when she washes her face, she like washes her face for like a minute. So she's like really working the product in and kind of making sure it's going everywhere and really having a chance to kind of work on your face. Cause usually I like, feel like I wash my face in like 30 seconds. Um, but she kind of, I don't know, related it to like washing your hands and how you have to wash it for like, how long? <laughs> 20 seconds, two minutes. I don't know the ABCs, however long that is. Um, and that gives a chance um, for the soap to kind of work through. So it's kind of like, I've been doing that with my cleansers and it's been really nice. So as you guys can see, it's nothing too like stripping of my skin, but I just feel like it really like helps get in there and clean it without like stripping my skin. So I have really been enjoying it. Okay, I'm going to pat my skin dry and that is all I'm gonna do. Um, because every time I get in the bath, I feel like I kind of get like hot, so I don't like to put any of my treatments or my oils or anything like that because I'd rather like, once I get out of the bath, I kind of splash um, my face with like some cold water. So after I get out of the bath, then we will go through everything like treatment wise, moisturizer, all of that. So I feel all nice and clean. I'm going to get my bath set up. I'm gonna grab a couple of things um, to like entertain me while I'm in the bath. So like my book, and my water and all of that and then um, I'll show you guys what I use when I get in the bath. Okay, this is my bath setup before I get the water started, but I love having a candle. My friend Adrian actually gave me this really pretty rose candle for my birthday. Over here, I usually have this filled um, with bath salts, but I'm all out and I forgot to get some. So usually I like to have um, I just like cheapo ones, like the Dr. Teal's ones. I love those. Um, you just get like such great bang for your buck. So I usually have them in there. I decided just to sit on the floor. Um, and then I always have my book with me, whatever book I'm reading. Right now, I'm trying to finish this one up. It is a simple favor. And my friend Zab actually recommended, we like did a little book swap. Oh my gosh, like <laughs> that had to have been maybe like January, I don't know, like way far <laughs> into the year. And I gave her a book that I really love. She gave me this one and I honestly just didn't get to it. And there were just so many other books that I wanted to read and like wanted to get through um, before I read this and it kind of got like lost <laughs> in the pile. And then um, now that we're finishing up 2020, there are two books that I wanted to finish off before I bought any other new books. And there were two books that I really weren't 
that excited to read. One was conversations with friends, which I've actually talked about on my Instagram. And a lot of you have messaged me and said that you didn't like it either. Like it was just a really like, I don't know. It was just such a weird, like dry book for me. I didn't love the way that the author just like wrote her novels. Like <laughs> this is like silly, but I didn't love that. Like when she would write in um like whenever the characters were saying something she wouldn't use like quotations or she wouldn't say like i don't know you know what i'm saying like they were just never quotations so i felt like the text like never was like broken up so it was just so weird and so confusing and i just found her writing to be like pretty dry and a little boring um but i finished that up so i was like phew um because i hate buying books and like not reading them um so anyway, but then this one, not that I'm not excited to read this, but I don't know. I feel like I've heard kind of mixed things about it. And I think because <laughs> the characters of the movie are Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick, Kendrick, which I'm not big fans of them. <laughs> I think if the cover was like not them and I could forget that it was a movie about like with them in it, I'd want to read it more. I know that's so bad and not fair to the book. Um, but when I'm reading it, I just can't get, I'm just not a fan of either of them. <laughs> so I'm having a hard time reading it, but I'm only on page 51. So I have a lot of reading to do before my books come in, which I'm actually really excited for them. There's so many great ones that I cannot wait to read, um, but I have to finish this and give it back to my friend. Um, yeah, she really loved it. And I don't want to say anything like before I've read all of it. Um, but that's just kind of my thoughts. I just haven't been too excited. Um, and then I always have my phone, always, always, because I try to do a lot of my reading in the bath, um, but sometimes I watch YouTube. <laughs> I always have a drink with me. So this is my ice water. So, so good. Um, and my cute little Jay-Z styles um, Tumblr. I was on their podcast and they were nice enough to give me a cute little Tumblr and I literally love it. And then we need bubbles. So I always use the Dr. Teal's foaming bath bubbles. This one is in lavender, which I love. Again, it's just like easy to pick up um, when I do like my grocery shopping and stuff like that. Like it's just always at a grocery store. So I do really love it. I love the bubbles that come through. Again, it's a nice price. I'm someone who takes a bath a lot. <laughs> so it's hard for me to like spend like $50 on like a luxury bubble bath when it's like I'm just dumping it down <laughs> so I love having something cheap that I can use all the time that works really well um but I know it's nice to have like fun cute luxury products I don't know um my friend Kate actually um I will leave her YouTube channel down below she is just starting on her YouTube and it's so great and I love it um but she did a Lush haul recently and it got me like thinking I need to do a Lush order Lush is nice because it's kind of like that nice middle point like it's still so so affordable but they're like really great products and they kind of just feel like novelty specialty things and so for the winter I love having something like that so her YouTube video really got me excited so anyway I'll leave her down below um I'm gonna stop rambling but I just wanted to kind of dive in to how I set myself up for such a great pamper night it's so important to take time for yourself and switch off and rest and all of that whether you do this in the morning or at night it's so important to just give yourself some time to like be at peace you know um so anyway i'm going to start right back now <laughs> my cheetah robe and yeah the bath felt really nice i got some good reading done which was really nice and then yeah just kind of chilled so i just got out it is like 10 o'clock <laughs> on a friday so we are just living our best life um i did put on some lotion really quickly so once i get out of the bath i love to moisturize and i bought this for sebastian this is the eucerin intensive repair lotion because he had 
he was like getting really like dry and like red and irritated like knuckles and hands and so I figured you can never be too moisturized um in the winter so I got this for him and honestly I just put it all over um it is thick though I will say I feel like I like tug on my skin um but it's really nice and really rich and like hydrating so we have been loving that and then for my feet and for my hands I love using this Vermont's original bag bomb oh my gosh this stuff is so good I will say it's a little like waxy so it can be a little bit annoying so I put it on my feet and then I'll put like socks on my feet um because literally my heels like aren't so correct I don't know what it is I don't know if it's like I don't know it's like I don't even wear shoes because I work from home but my feet have always just been dry and cracked so anyway um I'll put some socks on and then well I'll put this on and then put the socks on and then right before I go to bed is when I put this on because it's just like a little too waxy I don't love it but it really does help my hands. So then once that's done, we'll go in with the rest of our skincare. Um, I love using this Naturium Azelic. I don't even know, topical acid. I don't even know how to say this. Oops, I'm not even like too sure how to say that. So I picked this up because you guys know I'm a huge fan of Naturium and the back said, well, I just watched a YouTube video and she talked all about it and it made me like really want to try it. But basically, um, it has niacinamide, vitamin C, and then that like acid that I don't know how to say. Um, and it says it minimizes skin imperfections such as congestion, redness, dullness, and discoloration, which is huge. So anytime I have like breakouts, like I'm really just trying hard to like I don't know fix like the marking that I have um, it's really nice because it's not like bad scarring which I'm really thankful for but it is like marking so things like this really do help so I'm just trying um, yeah to like repair my skin basically so I have been using this for probably like two or three months and I absolutely love it I feel like I've seen such a great difference so I put that all over my skin and honestly right now this is the only kind of like treatment item I'm using um, at nighttime anyway so I just kind of tried to reduce like trying all of these like products I feel like that's kind of sometimes like what irritates my skin is I want to try all these products but then I don't give them enough time to really like settle and like adjust to my skin so as tempting as it is to always try new skincare products I feel like I'm really trying to dial it back um, on like the treatment things and just focus on like my core favorites basically. And then I kind of give that some time to sit in and then I'll go in with my nighttime moisturizer. So sometimes what I like to do is use this Laneige water sleeping mask. Um, I love using this as like an evening moisturizer. It's pretty light, um, but it's very moisturizing, very hydrating, and I just sleep with that on. And then I um, wake up and take it off in the morning, and I really love that. And then on the days where I just want a normal moisturizer, I use the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream, which I talked about this in my favorites video, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna use that just because I wanna be nice and moisturized, so I take a good amount. This is very thick, very creamy, so perfect for winter I have just been loving it and I'll put um, some under my eyes it's like a nice little under eye cream and it's just really nice I've been loving it okay and that is the moisturizer on I'll finish it off with my glossier bomb.com mint chapstick normally I'll brush my teeth before I do this but I'm gonna go eat a scotcheroo <laughs> so I am not brushing my teeth just yet but I always have to put some moisturizer on and then I'm gonna spritz a tiny bit of this Mario Badescu lavender spray honestly like if anything this just like cools me off <laughs> after a bath I don't feel like it does anything crucial to my skin so that is my pamper night and honestly I feel so much better. I'm pretty sure I chatted your guys' ear off completely, but it was fun to chat about all these products. Um, I, like I kind of said, sitting down, but like I really make an effort when it comes to self care and like slowing down and pampering. It doesn't always like get to happen every single night or every single week or whatever. Like things come up and I totally am fine with that, but. For the person that I am and to be able to like work hard and have like side hobbies and side hustles and projects and all these like 
crazy things that you can do like on a normal weekday it's so important to me to like refresh myself and this is how i do it i think some people like sebastian loves to work out and loves to like be active with his friends or go on hikes or whatever and like i just love i don't know this time like with myself with a good book with my youtube videos and my bath whatever it is um i just really love it so it was fun to be able to dedicate a whole vlog to all of my products and just all the things that make me feel happy <laughs> so anyway um i hope that you guys enjoyed this and i'm probably gonna end it off here there's really nothing else like i said it's like 10 o'clock so we're going to probably watch um another episode of survivor i'll have a little treat and then um probably head to bed so i hope that you guys enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you did and if you have any time this weekend i would encourage you to do a little self-care moment for yourself whatever that is do it for yourself i think that that would be really great for you and let me know on instagram what you end up doing tag me in all your stories i love seeing your cozy stories and all of that and yeah so anyway subscribe to the channel for all of the vlogmas this month and i will see you guys right back here tomorrow bye